Welcome to the Yoga Ranger Studio. My name is April Walker, and today we're gonna to be focusing on releasing the old and embracing the new. As we approach the new year, 2018, we're gonna see a lot of new things happening in our lives, and you can't really move forward if you're tied down by things that are holding you back from the past. And those may be things that you just have sort of been hanging on to without a cutoff point that just need to have that line snipped and cut, let go. We're gonna do this by focusing on the hips. So our hips hold a lot of our connective tissue is located in the hips between the knee and the navel. And this area is just densely packed with a lot of connective tissue. And there's some research out there that shows that we hold a lot of our emotional baggage, our trunk full of stuff in our connective tissue, that it holds emotional, emotional history. And if we let go of some of those things, we make room for getting some new things that might be more uplifting, supplemental, supportive of our lifestyles. So just a couple of props today, a blanket underneath if you feel you need that for your comfort, a second blanket to sit on, not absolutely necessary either one of these, but helpful just in case. We're gonna start in or deer pose. So go ahead and take the bottoms of your feet together. Sit up on your blanket if that's comfortable for you. I'm gonna go ahead and turn a little bit sideways so you can see what this looks like. And we're gonna take that left leg and curl it out to the left. Right foot's gonna go forward just a little bit. One hand to the inside, one hand to the outside. You're gonna use that outside arm to press yourself up so that you are lined up straight down the middle. So you have this nice line both hips are on the floor. If they have trouble getting there, you can use that blanket to bring the floor just a little bit closer up. Close your eyes and settle into that breath. Allow your breath to extend a little longer on the exhale. And imagine that with each exhale, you are releasing the old. And with each inhale, you are embracing the new. Feel your hips stable. Allow your muscles to soften. Allow gravity to pull your right knee down to the floor. Make you feel more stable in your hips and sit bones. Exhaling the old, inhaling the new. We're going to use a little mantra in this practice, so keep this mantra in mind as you take your breaths. I release the old and I embrace the new. Think about what things in your life that might need to be released. Cleaning out your baggage or your trunk, making room for new, supportive, uplifting, happy things, positive things that support you. Just about three more deep breaths.
Inhale, lean a little bit over to the right. Use your hand to bring that left foot back to center to butterfly pose. Wave your butterfly wings. Bounce the knees up and down softly. And keep extending your exhale longer and longer, allowing that release to happen of not just the muscles and the tension, but also releasing all the things you no longer need. And go ahead and switch sides. Take that right leg over to the right. Walk that left foot forward a little further. Take one hand to the inside, one hand to the outside. Press through that outside hand so you are aligned straight down the middle. I release the old. I embrace the new. Feel the muscles in your left hip softening, releasing toward the floor. Last deep inhale and exhale. Start to lean over to the left. Take your hand and bring that right foot back to center. Wave your butterfly wings. And then we're going to come into square pose. So in square, we're going to take that right leg and cross it level with the front of the mat. It's often easiest to do that when you have a squared off mat. Take that left leg behind, flex the toes. Now, if you have the mobility in this pose to stack this ankle on top of the opposite knee, that's great. If not, that's fine too. If your knees are way off the floor, you don't wanna try that because it's just gonna to put too much compression on your knees. Flex your toes, take those ankles as much as you can underneath the knees, sit up nice and tall, and then go ahead and start to lean forward. Now, I like to take my elbows or my arms to my knees to help this along a little bit. I don't press down, I just allow the weight to give me a little bit more opening in the hips. If you can come with your hands all the way down to the floor and rest your head on your knees or the floor, please feel free to take that. Sometimes after a while it feels comfortable to go ahead and drop those hands down and sometimes it's not. You can rest your head on your hands
Keep following your breath, keeping your mantra in mind. I release the old, I embrace the new. about halfway through here if you feel at this point that you want to take it a little bit further you can release the hands down to the floor come down just a little bit lower if you find once you get here you're not comfortable go ahead and come back up to your previous position and hold that Just about two more deep breaths. And then wherever you're at, start to walk yourself back up. You're gonna lean back just a little bit. Step those feet a little wider and just windshield wiper them side to side. cross the opposite way. Take that left leg. I always start with the right because it's easier for me to remember that I already did the right side because I consistently do that. Start to settle into this. Sit up nice and tall and then go ahead and take yourself down to where you feel you can be. Keeping those toes flexed. to settle into your breath. Begin to notice the sensations in your hips and legs noticing that things are just sort of shifting and you feel a little bit more softness there a little bit more spaciousness more opening you're almost halfway done you find here that you can go ahead and take your hands down a little bit lower or fold a little bit deeper you can always go there
Last two deep breaths. A nice deep inhale, a super long exhale. Start to walk your hands back up to center. Sit back a little bit, take those feet wide, drop the knees side to side. We're gonna take child's pose for just a moment here. Go ahead and bring the knees closer together than a normal wide knees child pose. You can stack your fists on top of one another and rest your forehead. This is gonna help soften that hip flexor space that may be feeling a little bit tight after that pose. and start to lift yourself back up. We're gonna take shoelace pose. So from your child's pose, you can cross that right over that left. You can take the blanket and tuck it underneath your hips or between your feet and hips. Now, if you can come all the way down to the floor with your hips and sit on the floor, go ahead and take that version. This is where I'm kind of at in my shoelace pose. We're gonna take eagle arms here. So we're gonna take the arms out to the side and wrap that right underneath the left. You can take the arms just out to the side, back of hand to back of hand, which feels really good, or full where you turn the palms toward one another. Take those elbows up as high as the shoulders, hands away from the face. Feel your shoulders soften. Start to unwind those hands and go ahead and fold forward. Start to walk your hands back up. You're gonna take that right hand over to the right. The left hand's gonna reach up and over. Just five breaths here. and over to the opposite side. Reach those fingertips past a little bit more. Back to center. Go ahead and lean forward a little bit, unwind. Start to take those feet out, rock them side to side, back to our windshield wiper for three breaths here. 
Feel that decompression in that whole outside hip and hip flexor area. You're gonna cross the opposite way. So take your left in front of right. You can take that blanket back behind to give you some support however you may need it. This time we're gonna take left underneath the right hand, back of hand to back of hand or palms together as much as you can. Elbows as high as the shoulders, hands away from the face. Feel your shoulders soften down the back. One more deep breath here. Feel your exhale settle you. Unwind. Go ahead and fold yourself forward if that feels okay or stay upright. your mind back to that mantra, I release the old and I embrace the new. Letting your exhale release all those things, emotional and physical, that are not what's best for you, that does not help you move forward in your life. to press yourself back up to center. Take that left hand over to the left, right hand up and over. Just five breaths here. And then over to the opposite side. To center, unwind. Take those feet out in front of you, windshield wiper them side to side. Then come into whatever cross legged position you like best. Go ahead and take your hands, palms up onto your knees, close your eyes, lengthen your spine, and deepen your breath. Exhale the old and inhale the new. Making your inhale about five or six counts, your exhale six to eight counts. Sensing the breath moving through the body, clearing the way, clearing the space for all the new things coming up ahead. Embracing change and difference and new opportunities and new adventures, new feelings, new friends. Open your heart to the new opportunities facing you coming up in this new year. Gently take your hands to your heart. Peace and Namaste. May your new year be filled with all sorts of amazing, beautiful, and wonderful things. And may you enjoy as much of it as possible, having let some of the things go that may be holding you back from being the very best you that you can be. 
If you enjoyed this practice, please subscribe, like, and comment down below. And I hope to see you again soon. Don't forget I upload a new video every single week and often two to three videos every single week. So I hope to visit you again soon. Join me in the new year for lots of changes to this channel, lots of new content, lots of new adventures for the Yoga Ranger Studio and myself and hopefully for you as well. Have a great day.